Hey, John Hickok here. May not have my long hair anymore, but it's still me. So I don't know, I have to find a new reason to piss off all the trolls. So I'll uh, work on that and get back to you when I got an idea. But I'm out here again with the Tactical Edge Warfighter 10, the AR-10 out of uh, from Cl Tactical Edge out of Clarksville, Tennessee. Really cool rifle. You might have seen the main video that we did on this rifle where we had some uh, extraction issues. A lot of you guys were saying that it was overgassed and it seemed like the issue was the extractor was out of spec right we shot at some after that video and it kept doing that kept doing that exact same problem it was malfunctioning the exact same way every single time that it malfunctioned so we took it back to them and they got right back to us really quick and that's what they told us um emailed us a picture of it you could see the the uh the part of the extractor that grabs the empty case was actually quite a bit smaller on the one that was originally in the rifle versus the one they replaced it with. So ever since then, we had it replaced, which I guess that's been, uh, as I'm doing this video now, maybe almost a month. It's been a few weeks, and we fired quite a few rounds through it. Of course, it's 308. 308 is a little expensive, and we don't have a million rounds of it, but we probably fired about maybe two to 300 rounds, something like that, and not one malfunction yet. So that's good news. Seems like maybe that issue is cleared up but I'm just going to do a chapter two with it here today um you know basic ar-10 for the most part it's got mission first tactical uh furniture on it so not, not none of the magpul stuff which i like the magpul stuff a lot but this is kind of kind of nice for just for something something different have a little different kind of furniture on it got the uh, vertical grip of course which is kind of the ottoman of of uh, gun furniture nice to have but don't really don't really need it necessarily and uh, I don't know if you guys have seen these before the little mission first flip up sights a little different than the MBUS haven't decided if I like them better or not yet uh, I think so far I kind of prefer the MBUS to be honest but these are these are interesting something different also have a Leupold VX2 1 to uh, 4 power optic on here so pretty uh, pretty cool setup so far I'm really liking it Got the 25 route magazine. So I'll see if I can be like dad and hit the targets over there. So <laughs> we'll see. I've got a scope, so surely I can surely I can do it. Of course you guys know that shoot scopes very much. It doesn't necessarily make you shoot any better. Okay, especially offhand. Alright. Keeping with the tradition, I'll start with the red plate over there. And then I'll work my way down. Okay. You notice I'm not using the vertical grip for shooting over there. I found it is steadier to hold it, kind of the classic, classic hold. The vertical grip to me is a little better for close range, easier to manipulate some, but for stuff like that, I, I like to hold it right here. A little more solid. All right. Okay, I'm gonna start on the left side over there and kind of work my way down. All right, like that one. That's it. Ugh, this rifle is really heavy. Part of the reason why I'm doing this video, if you guys have seen the shooting the breeze where dad talked about the surgery that he had to have, he's not allowed to lift over 10 pounds right now. And this rifle weighs, I think about, what is it, what they say on the website? I think 592, 592 pounds, something like that. So he's not supposed to lift this thing yet. Ugh, okay. Helps have the safety off. All right, three left. Oh, hit it. All right. Oh, man. If I didn't get that done much faster, 
hold on, run out of gra run out of gas in the left hand. Okay. All right, I think I'm, this is the part where I'm supposed to shoot the other red plate. All right, let's get the center block. All right, that was fun. I'm gonna go ahead and do a tactical imitation. See. Uh, an imitation of a tactical reload. Okay. Take out these two liters. All right, now we'll use the vertical grip. <sighs> well, there we go. So maybe I spoke too soon. This is the first malfunction that we have had out of this gun since they replaced the extractor. So, just on the fly, kind of making my own assumption here. What this tells me is that maybe the rifle was under gas, like you guys were saying, but the extractor was really uh, adding to the problem in a big way. I think that's pr it probably definitely has something to do with it. Now, where I was shooting kind of fast there, maybe I didn't have as solid of a hold on the rifle, so I didn't have the, the pushback that it needed, but I think it could be a combination of, of all those things. So, you know, this is why we, you know, part of why we do these videos, just to kind of show you what the gun does. So we'll keep you updated. Let me, I'll go ahead and take this mag out and finish it. Let's see what I got here. Cause yeah, that was, that was definitely the same type of malfunction that we were having before when the uh, before the the old extractor. So, okay. All right, let's shoot one more. This one's got 20 rounds in it. Do it again. Okay. So this rifle, as cool as it is, and as much as I like it, has some pretty serious problems. So we're gonna have to figure that out and it's definitely something to be aware of if you're looking at buying one of these. So we'll keep you updated on it. And uh as always we appreciate people